hi everyone welcome back to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so that you are first to get my videos in today's video i'll be doing my pedicure again it's that time um i am going to be using this cute pink i'm normally a bright person so let's see how this is going to go i am currently taking off the last pedicure which was for my son's graduation and um, i'll link that video here too as well so you can see how that was if you missed it and I will be taking off the polish with my 100% acetone. And this is a no soak, you guys. I am not in the mood to do a soak right now mentally. So, but what I normally do, I'm using my um, orally cuticle oil in order to help push back my cuticles and help the process long. So I, when I don't do a soak uh, pedicure, I would normally go to the point of um, prepping my feet and then taking a shower and scrubbing my feet well in the shower right now i'm doing the using my orally push in order to push back my cuticles and yeah so i would basically do all that and and before i get to the base coat i would take a shower um scrub my feet moisturize it and the next morning i go do the rest which is basically the base coat polish top coat and cuticle oil but that helps a lot in cleaning around the edges of your feet like in my like my toenails like in the corners of it like by the free edge you tend to have like more drier spots so soaking really helps and i'll get back to it soon enough i'm getting a lot better so let's pray that i continue so i'm just cleaning up the free edge with my nippers because i don't want to take too much off but just to like for that right there i'm just gonna file it down for my rig toe i'm not gonna even try and clip those because whenever i clip them i tend to clip them too short and then it's too short to file straight i love a straight toenails um square straight i don't like it round i don't like it oval i don't like it tapered i don't <laughs> taper toenails but anyways so i'm just cleaning up everything as best as i could with uh without the soak effect which will make a huge difference so anyways guys after i do all that i will be um switching to my base coat which is a base coat that i got from um right aid so um let's talk about a topic what are the topics gonna be graduation graduation so my son is 17 he graduated from his high school and um they had we had a graduation um i've you know honestly so basically it was only two people allowed which was good in a way but my my young son couldn't go and he was a little bit disappointed but at the end it was so hot out there he was like in the best seat ever because they were streaming it live so when he was in the ac at home watching it while we were my husband and i were being punched in the face with the sun and being in the condition that i'm in right now the sun is my enemy <laughs> So a few times I thought I was going to pass out and they said, I didn't see a sign till the next, what, I think the next, like a few days after we went for my son's diploma and there was a sign at the gate that basically said, you know, do not take any um, balloons and, and flowers and umbrellas inside, leave it in your car. And it was a few umbrellas out there in the bleachers, but in their defense, I didn't even see the sign as well, but I just know it. There's no way I could be in the bleachers at a football field of our high school and have an umbrella if I wasn't on the tip top of the bleachers because then I would be basically a jerk blocking everybody else's view. But hey, that's just how I roll. <laughs> Anyways, um, another thing was that um, there was only two people allowed. Um, I saw everybody um, um, sticking to that rule except one family brought in a child. And when I say a child, it was a child that they basically had to separate each other so the child could play in the middle of them, which basically they want you, they had green signs on the bleachers that says sit here. So they want you to sit as a couple together, not separated because they're trying to keep you away from the people too close to you on front, back and side. The front bleachers and the back bleachers for us was completely empty so other than those two issue um people most likely most most they at least on my side where i was sitting um um they they followed the rules so that was good because normally from i've been in um elementary school to middle school like these parents bring the whole family from where i don't effing know it's like dude you know it's just a christmas um <laughs> performance 
recorded and taken home to your family and then they put their kids in a chair it's just and then their strollers in the middle of the aisle it's like good lord it's like so when there was like two people i was like thank goodness because i didn't i couldn't wait okay so i had to drop my son off i think eight o'clock to like 10 o'clock for rehearsal that morning and um then i had to um, go back and drop him off at three o'clock the gate opened for us at 3 45 and the service the ceremony started at five by the time I dropped myself at 3 o'clock, there was already a line to get in. I'm like, you know what? Too bad, so sad. I am not doing this. Not this year. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done forming an effing line. I'm so done. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. And believe it or not, we got there pretty much on time. You know, not too early. And I think we, we were early and it was like torture out there. So, but the ceremony went down. Um, wasn't, you know, no graduation is, is like, it's like boring all graduations are boring <laughs> but when you see your own child graduate it's a different story but by the time I call his name it's like can we go now because it's hot <laughs> but anyways that's what happened with us um my son was kind of borderline excited like you know because last year I think when everything first started with um corona um I don't think the kids were allowed like graduation hey guys if you haven't by now please take this time to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you are first to get my videos yeah so i'm just buffing off um like any you can use the e-file but a buffer works fine for me yeah yeah so um he was like you know what mom i would have been fine either way this was so like tedious it was like not even to me he wasn't even like, really excited about it he was like just glad that everything was finished with but that's just my kid my kid is like the kind that just don't you know stuff don't really phase him in that sense like he's like i'm over it let's go but anyways he's kind of bothered and i think i support him in that right now because he doesn't we don't um qualify for any kind of financial aid this is the base code from right aid for any financial aid and due to that fact he filled out the whole process and i told him already knew from previous um, orientations that if you make a certain amount they're not going to get any help which i don't understand because at a certain point for the stimulus check they still give it to you so i don't know why the government would ban you for even less than a stimulus check so if the stimulus checks for a couple was you know one hundred fifty thousand, i guess um, i don't know how come they i don't know but anyways i don't know what they come up with their figure but we didn't qualify for the um that's the kara sky um polish it's not a it's not a gel polish you guys regular polish yeah so we didn't qualify for any at a, a fast for you no know, like grants or anything like that but he still fill out the thing i'm like oh, don't waste your time don't waste your time i already know we don't qualify you know you're basically too rich to qualify and not rich enough you know i mean to basically you know pay for college <laughs> so anyways um that's what he did and he's like i'm not doing any grants or any scholarship because in order to do those you literally have to sign up for like a thousand different website and then hey if you're a left-hander you go pick a flower with your right hand and throw it in the trash i was like stupid stuff you have to do like have your child acting like a clown just to get free money you know i know it works for a lot of people and maybe i was on the wrong side but my son was like mom i'm not writing any more letter any more essays i am done with school um you know i'm in honors class I, um he refused to take ap class because he's like i'm not i'm not gonna stress about it i will take my honors class that i'm taking he ended up taking i think one ap class and that was because that's what was offered for that subject that he needed i guess if not he probably wouldn't have taken it but he's kind of frustrated he's angry he goes how is it that i worked so hard for my four point i think 4.1 um grade and and then i guess to get hired in 4.0 you have to take i guess more ap classes i'm assuming that's how that works because normally in high school it's just 4.0 so anything over is he think it's honors class but i'm thinking it's ap classes who knows but he's like why is it that i bust my butt to get you know and he just didn't get 4.0 like four he literally got like 100 percent in his class if it's not like 98 or something i think i don't even know what his lowest class was like no but he got literally 100 percent in all his class so it's just not a 4.0 based on um a 90 percent so um yeah and he's like i bust my butt to get this grade but based on your income i i don't get granted this stuff you know and so like there's this one person you know that's getting all the money because financially um they 
can't afford going to school and they're getting a lower GPA and they have a lower GPA than I have. And he's trying, he's not trying to knock anyone, but he's honestly, I, I agree with him. You know, my son busts his butt to get good grades and but because of our income. And like I said, it's not like we're making buku money. You know, I'm, I'm good at budgeting. I'm very good with money. We're not no millionaire or anything, but it's like, how is it that he doesn't get all these grants like everybody else is getting just because I mean, the thing is, he has a, they have lower GPAs than he does, but because of our income, he doesn't qualify for anything. So yes, we just paid his college tuition. It was, um, first college tuition was a little bit over like a 30, over that $3,000. And, um, you have to pay by credit card. And even, I think even if you paid by, um, check it, your savings or check in it's still a service fee of almost 90 bucks. So yeah, we just paid that today and his school foundation gave him, um, $1,150 and that's towards his um i don't know how they call it, how they pick you for that but again he's seeing people getting more money based on the fact of their their need their help and, and um you know like he said i've been with one person for a long period of time and when we've picked gotten chosen to go see if you quality if you get any um money towards scholarship throughout the years of being in high school um people were getting money over him even though he, he felt that his interview was good, even felt that he felt that, you know, he did pretty well, whatever it was, but because of his income, he never won. And it does suck. You know, it does really suck because basically, you know, people are getting um, promoted just because of their income. And I'm not saying they're not smart. I'm not saying, you know, they don't have a high GPA, but I do see that my son have a high GPA than a lot of people that are getting these grants. And um, he's like saying what does your income have to have to do with my hard work so I said you know what that's how the world is the world is effed up screwed up and don't worry about it you know thank god we can afford to pay for it so that's what we're dealing with right now so but you know that time will time will come and you know we've been helping families and people in our country and hey anyways but that's just my little rant while I do my pedicure and this is the photo I picked for my thumbnail you guys but anyways see if, if are you dealing with the same crap in your life thanks for watching take care and please don't forget to subscribe now peace out